Hi everybody, guess what I have for you today? A gel printing video. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of gel printing, but I did want to play with some of the new Carabelle stencils with the gel plate. Um, I'm a little bit rusty, I have to admit, with gel printing, but um, yeah, I need to get back into it. The first tag I pulled, I absolutely loved. And I think I made four tags in total, and I liked three out of the four. I really liked two. One was okay, one was awful. <laughs> so anyway, I'm using Liquitex Basics Paint for the gel printing session that I'm doing here. And the colors that I'm using, and I know this first one I'm most likely going to pronounce wrong. Um, Thalocyanine Green, Bright Aqua Green, Cadmium Yellow me Medium Hue, Light Portrait Pink, and Quinacridone Magenta. So I'm applying the paint with a sponge, like a, those makeup wedges. And really, you could use a second gel plate as your palette and then brayer it, you know, brayer the paint off the one gel plate and brayer it onto this one. But I didn't want to have to clean my gel plate in between each color, like the one that I'm using for a palette. So I thought this way was easiest, where I could just squirt out some colors and then stencil it on like I would on a piece of paper. And you may ask, well, why not just stamp directly to your tag? The reason is, I mean, you can do that if you want, but I don't care what you say, <laughs> it is not going to look the same. Gel printing just gives everything a different look, different texture. It's just not the same as going directly to paper. Gel printing just has this... Mm. <laughs> if you do it, you know what I'm talking about because you, you just can't, you can't recre recreate it. It's just beautiful. So just play and you'll find out. So the set, the stencil and the stamp that I'm using, it's actually an art stamp and s stencil set. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say in one so you get both the stamp and the stencil in the one pack and this one is called Portuguese tile pattern and it is beautiful so now time has passed and I waited for those first layers to dry now you'll notice that I did the stenciling first and then the stamping after. If you want to see more of the stamping, do your stamping first and your stenciling second because whatever goes down on the gel plate first, that's what you're going to see the most. But I didn't think about it until after I had done it. But you do still see some of the stamping. It's just like peeking out and stuff. So it is a very cool effect. So always know with gel printing, like I edit it so you don't have to see me waiting the whole time and rubbing it as long as I do and all that stuff. See, I like that one. It's got that grungy goodness and color and looks like tons of layers and lots of work and it really wasn't. So this... I am like tongue tied tonight. This second one that I'm using is another stamp and set, stencil set. There's too many S words. And it is called Star Flower Pattern. And all of these have been, I'm not going to say her name right. I, I need her to teach me how to say her name because I talk about her often because she's awesome. Um, Berhit. And I thought I was saying her last name right, and I've been saying it wrong. I was saying Berhit Koopsen. 
but she I heard her say it and I think she said Copson so anyway I am sure you all know who I'm talking about because she is awesome and I think very popular in the gel printing world so anyway forgive me <laughs> that I can't say her name properly I do love that woman she is awesome um, I had to pause during my voiceover and now I'm not sure what I've said already <laughs> but anyway for this second tag I pretty much repeated the same technique as I did the first time and you'll notice when I'm pulling the print that I only put enough paint down that it's covering everything but I can still see the previous layers this is the one it is just awful like, I don't like it at all not at all and I try to do something to make it look better but <laughs> It just makes it look so much worse. So this is another Carabelle stencil and it's in French so I don't know. It's, it looks to me like Bull, Bull de Savant but I have no idea. No idea. But I will put the names of them down in the description box so I've actually thought about um, see isn't that nasty Anyways, I've actually thought about learning French because it would be nice especially being with Carabelle too because they're almost all of them are French and oftentimes they have messages in French and I don't have a clue what they're saying <laughs> and then the names of their products are in French and then I feel like I'm butchering it and or I just won't say it at all and really when you go to travel anywhere it seems like even like if you're going somewhere where they speak Spanish they will know French but not English like they better understand like they'll know English but they better understand French than they do English that's the way it was when we went to the Dominican anyways like they would have preferred it if we spoke to them French over English but we couldn't do that <laughs> anyway so I'm giving it another go same idea same technique just um, stenciling on some different color paints through the stencil and using the star flower pattern again I needed a little redemption from the last one because that one just like knocked me down it was awful <laughs> and this one that I'm doing here now it's the one that I feel is okay I don't love it but I won't toss it because I feel like I can do something with it but the one before this one, it was just like, no, that's got to go bye-bye. So see how much of that pattern you can see through the paint? That's all you need to pull those previous layers. And like I said before, I do let those layers dry. And how long it takes to dry, that depends on so many different things. The amount of paint you use, where you are, like... All I can tell you is to check like usually you can tell by looking at it when it's dry and if you're on shore just very lightly tap it with your finger and see if it's wet that's all I do I don't go by any amount of time like I don't even look at the clock to see how much time has passed so and it's going to be different for everybody so here I'm going back to the first set that I used, the Portuguese tile pattern. I really like this one. 
And I'm going for something a little more basic with this one. I just thought I would do like repeat the pattern. I don't get a great match up or anything. So because it's not great and you can see that line in the middle, I take the makeup wedge and I just go in with some more paint to kind of give it like a intentional distressed look. You know what I mean? Like so it's not too perfect and patterned. And then I'm just using some Ranger Archival ink. Um, I feel like the color is called marine, but I'm not sure. I will have to check. Oh, cobalt. Yep. Better write that down so I can list it in the description. Oh, and the tags I'm using just in case you guys want to know, are the ones um, that you can get on the Ranger website. I think they're Dina's tags. And I like this one. I have plans for this one. Yeah, so the tags you can get on Ranger. Um, I got a bulk pack. I think there's like 50 in a pack and there's two different sizes. And you saw the two different sizes I was using. But I will link them down below in the description box and I hope you enjoyed my little gel printing session and that it made you happy <laughs> and I will talk to you guys again soon bye thanks so much for stopping by let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel you can also head over to my instagram account and say hi to me over there if you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.